Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome to video 24 of our Ultimate Skyrim Let's Play. Last video, we we're just entering Haldir's Karen, and in this video, we will be continuing on in Haldir's Karen right now. So before we get started, let's get the candlelight back on so I can see, and so you can see, so we can all see. Um, I've been spotted. Is there a ghost? down here i can kind of hear the pitter patter of feet uh, off in the distance maybe you can too i'll just uh, stay silent for a second so you can hear that yeah you can probably hear those uh feet clomping away so as you may know haldir's karen does feature undead ghosts they are invisible until you sort of activate a sort of trigger that makes them visible oh what's this oh take some of these sure sure I, I like my poisons for my uh, crossbows those are always good those are always good so let's see if they're all right I think there's a ghost in there but like I said you uh, need to walk in there before it, um, it triggers the ghost I would assume so this area does look like a ghost would pop out and this shank yeah so before we do anything let's get some fire runes going just to prepare oh geez there we go let's do that and then wait for our magicka to go back up it's going up pretty quickly here probably because we're not in combat not true combat i should say but where would he be I feel like um, using Sunfire, because Sunfire is pretty good against Undead, and Ghosts are technically Undead, even though they do drop uh, gear, which was which is kind of strange for a Ghost to, you know, have physical gear on them, but whatever. Uh, we're, we're just going to see if we can lure here, because I think there would be... I can hear him walking, so I don't think he's... I think he might be around this direction here. No. No. Okay, but maybe one more time. Oh, 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 there he is. Okay, and then he'll run to me. Very good. No, you won't. You won't return. You're done. You're done. Let's see what you got. Ooh, this. And ooh, some bolts as well. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you kindly. So, let's see, um, I think that's it, let's, actually no, I remember last video where I assumed that was it and then I got shanked by a ghost, so let's do another, let's uh, cheese this a bit, go a little bit slow, make sure there are no ghosts, oh, alright, there's another ghost, where'd he be? Uh, okay, hold on. Let's just go back here. I don't... And make another fire rune. I gotta say, fire rune, very good. Very nice spell to have in your arsenal. Just to prepare for each and every fight. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay. So I'm gonna use fire sparks here. Just to, just to see. Just to clear out this area. Okay. So it's not over there. So, maybe sitting on one of these chairs then. Nope. Okay, he must be right here then. Unless he's hot standing there, but I don't think so. Here, let's here, let's let's just try this. Nope. Okay, there's nothing there. Let's go wait for my magicka to go back. Okay, he must be right here. He must be. Is he? Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Stole from a ghost. Okay, where did he go? I've been caught. We'll take that. And there you go. Take my money back. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Okay. So what else do we got here? 
I don't think there are any more ghosts. It doesn't look like it. There might be maybe another ghost over there, but let's see. Um, I use Sunfire just down down range, just to. Okay, I don't think there are any ghosts, so I'm just gonna trip that. Avoid that. Very nice. And I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay here. I want to see another trap right there. That's pretty obvious. Take that. Take that. Oh, that's 500 septums right there. And a, a, a bear? A bear hat? I'll take that for sure. What's in here? Okay. Avoid that trap pretty easily. Very nice. Let's check out this... Um, I wasn't going to take that ancient uh, Nordic mace because it was like, well, it's just an ancient Nordic mace. Why would I take that? But I am interested in this hat. This hat looks decent. Hold on. Let me take off blur here. No. Oh, my goodness. Blur. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm off blur. No, I'm not. I'm still on blur. There we go. Now I'm off it. Wow, that hat does look nice. I really do like the look of that hat. That looks like a proper, like, adventuring sort of hat. Like, you're killing the bears, and you're taking their heads and using them as, like, headwear. That does look nice. However, I will not be using that because I want to wear this. Because I can equip this hood with a circlet. I can't do that with um this helmet here. Ooh. Mage circlet with uh, mage cloth hood is overall better, I feel. But it's a nice little helmet. I, I will keep it. Let's check out our character as is. He he looks pretty badass, I think. I like the little mask he's got going on. Not sure why the masks don't seem to... Where's the mask? Where are you? Don't seem to give like any sort of stats. Just no warmth or coverage. I mean, it just has like one big downside of giving me weight i mean technically statistically it's kind of better to just sell and get rid of unless there's like a hidden statistic happening maybe there is let's see nope nope my warmth does not go up my coverage does not go up so it's just basically there for looks okay fair enough good to know good to know so we're gonna go up here now and remember to fire rune this because I don't know what's over here. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. All right. This looks like the, the the boss area. Like you can just tell by the plume of light. So let's see. I'm gonna prepare myself here. Because I think that would be the smartest approach. I dual cast this. Yeah. Let's get... Oh, come on. I turned off my mage light. Okay, let's dual cast our mage light. Or candlelight, I should say. So it lasts for a good long while. And let's get some light maybe in that room as well. Because we do have the opportunity to do so. And I'm just going to stay way in the back here. Get some light on those little uh, hanging chandeliers. That looks appropriate to me. Oh yeah, nice and well lit in that room. So now that we're prepared in that way. The reason why I'm not going into that room is because I spotted this sort of like these bars. And it does look like once I enter that room, it'll trigger everything. So let's prepare ourselves first before we uh, close the tour on us proper. Um, let's see. Uh, apple cabbage stew. Let's drink that. Magic regenerates faster. Drink. Drink that. Just drink it all. Eat it all. There we go. Just get all our buffs going on here. Mage armor. Refresh that. There we go. Get blur back on. There we go. I think those are pretty good buffs. Let's see where we got. 140 HP. That's pretty low. But, I mean, I am a wizard. That makes sense, though. I do have a perk. Let's see, what can I use this perk for? I don't like Cryomancy. Maybe Powermancy? I 
Uh, I'll save the perk. I may want to look into some things first. What else do we have, though, for preparation's sake? Oh, I do have these scrolls here. Set them on my favorite. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to run in there. And I'm going to do a frost atronach for an open. And then for my right hand... Do this, and then I have Vajra. Vajra? Yeah, Vajra. And I'll put that on my second... And heal self maybe on third or I'll put heal self on my third and then fourth for firebolt. I think that'd be better. No, okay. I do have other stuff. I think fireballs. Hold on. Let's do it like this. Cross Atronach. Fireballs, because that does a lot of damage. I think this area would be appropriate to be spending some of my um, staff energy. Alright, so I think I'm good. Or do I want to do that? Oh, dang. I don't know. Okay. Nope, I'm okay. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Take that. Okay, so I'm gonna let the... Oh! He's got fireballs. He's got fireballs. Eh, eh, okay. So I'm kind of prepped here. Okay, hold on. Okay, got him, got him. Okay, there's one. Wait, what has he got over there? I think there's a book on his pedestal. Dang, I don't want to touch him. I want that book. Ugh. Okay, why well, he's distracted? Get the book, get the book. Oh, it's greater knock. Oh. I can unlock master locks now. Jeez. Okay. Okay, that's good. Got him. I think I'm doing pretty good for this fight so far. Thanks to this uh, frost atronach. Oh, he's coming right for me, the ghost. Oh, the ghost is coming right for me. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, no. He's coming right for me. I can't even see him, he's so invisible. Oh, and I'm slow. Somehow the fireballs weren't doing damage to me. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, fudge. Fudge, my goodness. What has he got? Sure, that's okay. Sure, I'll take that too. Oh. Uh, ooh, coins, okay. Right, so I took the... So the reason why I took the book, because knowing Fireball, it will explode everything, and the book will fly away, and I will probably never find it ever again. That's why I did that. That's why I chased after the book before uh, taking out the guy. Jeez. God, that man was relentless. Just never stopped chasing me. Let's ch check out the chest now. See what we've got. Ancient text. Sure, I'll take that. This, this. Oh, that's very good. Disease immunity. That's an excellent necklace. I'll keep that for sure. Rorjan's drum. I can't pronounce any of these Nordic names. I'm terrible. And Ruby. And Shaldor's insights. Awesome. This is what we came for. And Miranda's beacon. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen. Hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Alright, awesome. So... We're probably not going to be doing that. We're going to head all the way to the College of Winterhold. So why don't we uh, get out of this area a little bit here. And make our way to the college proper. And uh, see what Urug is going to give us.
All right, so here we are outside. It is 6.45 p.m. morn dust. So at this point, we're going to be mounting our horse here and heading back to the College of Winterhold. So I do think at this juncture, I will be skipping the travel footage from here because I just want to make my way to uh, the college as quickly as possible and not getting to uh, any side shenanigans. So at this point, I'll be uh, skipping the footage a little bit, fast forwarding to the college, and I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are at Uruguru Shub. He'll be taking our Shalador's insights now. any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Excellent. I'll start translating it. Shouldn't take me more than a day or two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's great. So at this point, I am going to just speed through. And I'm just going to go like go to bed and just sleep through like the two days because I'm really excited to see what the Shalador's insights will get us as far as the spells and research uh, mod is concerned. So we're going to be just skipping through the footage here. And when we get back, we should be uh, talking to Urug again and getting our Shalador's insights proper. So I'll see you in a second. I don't want to see you treating any of these. We were able to figure out the last text you brought in. I thought the least I could do is pass the knowledge along. Fight well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I did go to Urug, and he did give me the modified spells and research version of Ashaldor's Insights, which I'll show you right now. So what this does is once you click on this, once you receive it, you'll gain some experience to an archetype related to uh, either destruction, alteration. It depends on uh, whatever sort of random scroll that you receive here. So let's just click on it now just to do a test run and to show it off to you right now. See what we get. You've gained a lot of knowledge on spells involving acid. Okay, so that's good. So let's go to our mod configuration here. Go all the way down to spells and research like so. Go to experience. Yep. And somewhere in here, there will be uh, acid. And then we'll gain experience on that somewhere in here. All right, so there it is. I found it. I found the, the acid. It's right on the first page. So we did gain a lot of experience. Some of that went to novice. A little bit less than that went to adept, apprentice, expert, and master. So this will be tied into crafting new spells and increasing your chance that you actually get those spells. But I'll get into that in a new video another video uh, later on which will be coming up at some point in the future so with that being said ladies and gentlemen i do like to thank you all for watching this video if you like videos like these and want to see other videos like them be sure to like and subscribe if not i understand so i'd like to thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye